what's new in Pro Engineer Wildfire 5. So Wildfire 5 release M060 is now available. You know, a lot of people often ask, well, well, do I really need to get all of the releases or get all the maintenance builds? Maybe not all of them, but it, it's good to understand that there's new functionality being added with these. There's added functionality that could be, you, you could be using and taking advantage of, and if you don't update your C to Pro Engineer, um, you, you're not going to see that. Wildfire 5 has been out for about a year now. It's a very stable product, uh, but some of the things that really drove the Wildfire 5 release was usability. So being able to... Um, do things a little bit quicker and easier inside of Sketcher part and assembly modes. Uh, we'll just go step by step here and show um, improvements in, in particular areas. First off with Sketcher. Um, it's not going to be completely different than what you're used to, but there are some tools that make your life a little bit easier. New ellipse, parallelogram, and offset tools, creating ellipses and parallelograms on angles, improved constraints, including object action and equal dimensions, a lot more functionality with your right mouse button. Add references on the fly, add constraints on the fly without going over to the toolbar. Also dimension improvements, sketch your points and coordinate systems that you can add inside of your sketch that are referenceable outside of the sketch. Some new things in the part mode, you have a full preview of UDFs, also a web rib or a trajectory rib. File properties, all the information is going to be in one area now. You don't have to hunt around anymore. It looks a little bit nicer. Sketch point pattern. No resolve mode. This is probably the biggest thing on this page. This resolve mode is completely redone. Probably one of my favorite things uh, inside of Wildfire 5. For the weld feature overhaul, you can be able to create those weld notes quickly and easily. All those welds are transferable directly into Mechanica. Assembly mode inside of Wildfire 5. It's a new uh, way of doing simplified reps. Drag and drop capabilities have been improved. You have a way of creating a new sub-assembly on the fly. It cuts down a lot of time of creating sub-assemblies for detailing purposes or anything else. They redid explode, so that's a little easier to work with. The accessory window, it's directly docked in the assembly mode. More right mouse button shortcuts, like component repeat, open generic of an instance, etc. 3D drawings, the concept of a paperless environment. They've created layer tabs for full control of these annotations. If you get past kind of the, the learning curve on this, um, there's no reason not to be using 3D annotations. There's not a whole lot of people that are on the, the 3D annotations yet, but as you can see, this is a new interface. We have what's called the Microsoft ribbon, and you're going to find that Pro Engineer is going to be moving more and more towards this. It maximizes the interface specific to the tab that you've clicked on. Some of the other things that have been improved, there's a drawing tree and an improved model tree. Also, a uh, sheet tab, being able to add sheets or copy information from one sheet to the next. Accurate preview. Uh, one other area that, that really has improved quite a bit is import inside of Pro Engineer Wildfire 5. There's a new 3D import wizard, 3D non-geometric -geom content processor. What this gives you the capability to do is import files directly just by opening them and being able to add templates on the fly to them. Out of the box Pro Engineer Wildfire 5 is able to open Autodesk Inventor files. It can open up SolidWorks files if um, you have a seat of SolidWorks on maintenance and installed on your computer. One of the things I mentioned when we first started was piping design for Wildfire 5. There's been a, a large improvement to the user interface. More icon based, new drag handles for interactive routing, selection filters as well. Then ECAD for Wildfire 5, there have been improvements. PTC recognizes there's a need for this ECAD MCAD collaboration. One of the other areas that, that really has improved quite a bit in Wildfire 5 is the analysis area, mechanism design. The ability to create belts. 3D contacts, another one. Dynamic and generic gears. Also, uh, this is probably one of the top things people have asked for is being able to create a slot motor for a design. Points point torsion spring, animation of explode states. Instead of having to use the animation portion of Pro-E, you can just animate that explode that you've already created. Uh, reaction measures on ball and bearing joints, and then enhanced dynamic relationships. And then finally, uh, we'll talk a little bit about Mechanica, just some of the new things that have been changed. Uh, plasticity, nonlinear plastic analysis, you can define properties by tests and hardening laws. Uh, greater solution accuracy, that's obviously good. There's a mesh refinement in contact, uh, convergence targets have been altered. Um, and then convergence plots. And then finally, uh, dynamic editing. I don't think this video is going to play, but uh, we'll go ahead and show it during the demonstration. This is this is kind of a, a look into the future of, of what Pro Engineer is going towards, and this is this ability to not only have this parametric modeling and having linked together everything, but also just being able to drag and move things around and alter it with, you know, almost like pausing the parametrics, so to speak. We do offer courses. Um, Anthony mentioned, you know, the training, but I just wanted to mention that we have training updates from Wildfire 2, 3, and 4 um, for Wildfire 5.